Hello, my name is Josh McDonald. I'm a technical trainer at Johnson Controls Tyco. Today we'll be taking a look at the NG1250 nitrogen generator. We'll be taking a look at the components as well as the flow path through the nitrogen generator. This nitrogen generator is a wall mount unit, also comes in a standalone and skid mount unit to maintain larger system volumes. Those other units will be laid out very similar to this with the same parts. We'll have a compressor. The compressor will vary from this unit to the standalone and skid mount unit, but there will be an air compressor. This air compressor leads into a coil. When you compress air, you increase heat. So this coil is here to dissipate that heat that we produce when we're compressing the air. The air then leads through this ball valve. We have bypass mode. Bypass mode directs air directly into our sprinkler systems. This allows us to fill our systems within 30 minutes as per the standard. In nitrogen mode, we're going to take this air, we're going to bring it through a series of filters. 5 micron, 1 micron, 0.01 micron. This is ensuring that we have a very pure air source for our separation membrane. It's going to remove any particulates or any water vapor. That air is then coming through to the inlet of our separation membrane. This pressure gauge helps us during troubleshooting. This separation membrane is basically a series of small tubes, very small tubes, with orifices. Those orifices are sized in such that oxygen molecules can be purged off, but nitrogen will remain within the nitrogen membrane. Nitrogen then comes up through a needle valve to slow the path of nitrogen. If we slow that path of nitrogen, we can ensure pure nitrogen into our sprinkler systems. Pressure regulator, so we trap a high pressure of nitrogen in here to purge that oxygen off. Solenoid valve separates the nitrogen unit from our sprinkler systems. We have a sample port. This sample port allows us to check what the purity is of our nitrogen heading into our sprinkler systems. Flow meter helps us to troubleshoot. From here on out, we head to our air maintenance devices. Um, in our risers. Digital display, this control unit is really the brains of the operation. It tells the unit when to start, when to shut off. We have outputs. These outputs are on and off. This is a good, good to show the display. You also notice that our output lit up. Also have bypass mode indicator, outputs for monitoring as well as a visual indicator on the outside. Also have a leak monitor. On the side here, we have our hours of runtime, cycle counter, on-off switch, and the connection to our sprinkler system. If you have any questions about this unit or any of the other units, feel free to go to tyco-fire.com or reach out to our technical services department.